This is a lesson on the language of probability. So first of all, what it means um, to find the probability of an event just means um, you're finding how likely something is going to happen. There are a number of descriptions or words to describe how likely an event is going to happen. So let's look at them right now. We've got impossible, possible, certain, unlikely, and likely. Impossible means that an event will never happen. For example, finding a flower that talks. That's impossible. Something that is possible is just an event that could happen. Um, an example, your teacher knowing the answer to your question. It could happen, it might not, but it might. Um, certain means that an, an event will definitely happen. Like July coming after the month of June, that'll definitely happen. Um, an unlikely event would be one or an event that could happen, but it doesn't happen very often. So an example might be getting to stay up past your bedtime on a school night, depending, I guess, on your family. Um, and the last one, the likely event, is an event that has happened often and will probably continue to happen again. So an example would be playing a game during school assemblies. So usually when we have a school assembly, we play a game. doesn't always happen, but it usually does. Um, so those are the words that we're going to be working with. So using these examples, um, what I want you to do is you are going to write three events under each heading in the table. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. We've got impossible, possible, certain, likely, and unlikely. So pause the video, write in three events just in the world, in life, that could be um, placed under each one of these, and then play the video, and then um, I'll tell you some of the ones that I came up with. So impossible could really be anything um, that could never happen. So, okay, so I've come up with um, pigs growing wings and flying snapping your fingers and Elvis appearing, and giraffes ruling the world. Uh, possible are things that could happen. They might not happen, but they could happen. So what I have come up with is a student bringing show and tell tomorrow, a spider coming into the classroom, and someone falling off of their chair today. So those things could happen. They might not, but they just could. Next one is certain. So this is definitely going to happen. What I have come up with uh, for being certain is you being assigned an assignment after this lesson, the sun rising tomorrow, and the school year ending in June. Next, we've got to come up with something that is likely. So that is something that usually happens, doesn't necessarily have to happen, but it usually does. So we've got <clears throat> um, having social studies after recess. Students in the class receiving a strike for not following directions, and the bell ringing when school ends. Now the last one is unlikely events. So they could happen, but they don't happen very often. Um, so some unlikely events are your teacher bringing, bringing you a treat for no reason, a foot of snow falling in one day, and seeing a moose on the highway. So things that could happen, but don't happen very often. Uh, Alright, so make sure that if you can think of three things, that you write down my three things, or um, enough to fill in your space to have three things in each. Now, I know this was a bit of a challenging activity for me, so it might have been for you too. Uh, but I tend to overthink things, so maybe not. Alright, so what you need to do, again, is you're going to pause, and you're going to use the words above from the chart here um, to answer the questions. So it says Lewis has these coins in his pocket. So we've got nine pennies, two nickels, and two dimes. So you need to tell, or, oh no, hang on, I forgot to write, read this part. It says one coin falls out. How likely is it that the coin is? Now you have to say how likely it is, using those words above from the chart, um, that the word is a quarter, a dime, a penny, or a nickel. 
So pause the video now and uh, play again once you've decided, once you've assigned a word for each one of those coins. Okay, so Lewis doesn't have any quarters in his pocket. So that means that um, the likelihood of a quarter falling out of Lucas, Lewis's pocket is impossible because he does not have one in there. So there's no way one could fall out. Just like it's impossible for a $100 bill to fall out of your pocket today. Um, the next one is a dime. Now, it's possible, but it's unlikely. So, you might have put possible, but um, try to be more specific and say that it's unlikely. Um, now, with a penny, we've got one, two, three, we've got nine pennies out of a total of 13 coins. So, that means that the most likely one to fall out is a penny. So this is going to go as likely. It's likely that it's going to fall out. So again, you could have put possible, but um, you need to be more specific. Possible is pretty unspecific. So it's possible, but unlikely. This one is possible, but likely. And nickel, um, him having the same number of dimes as nickels, makes this one unlikely as well. Now we could go a step further and say that these two are equally likely because there are two of each of those coins. So they are both unlikely, but they are equally likely. Okay, so uh, most of this lesson is going to be you deciding how likely or unlikely events are. Um, try not to just put likely unless it's pretty unspecific of how likely or unlikely it's going to be. Uh, oh, sorry, not try not to put possible, I mean, um, unless it tells you to put possible or impossible. But because all three, dime, penny, and nickel, are possible, but we just have to say how possible they are. So unlikely or likely, or are they certain? All right, well, your assignment is on the bottom of your page here page uh, 274 to 275, numbers 1 to 6.